Well, I just think it puts terrific pressure on the woman to maybe stop breastfeeding early, to try to get back to work, when that's the one little sort of beautiful bit of time that you can have with the baby. You can Without bond. your partner? Not, well, I mean, obviously the, the, the partner can be there in the evenings and, you know, times when he's not working. But I think the problem is, I mean, it, it really, I think it gives children such a good uh, start in life to have breastfeeding if, if the woman can do it and if it works for them that it's terribly sad to have anything knock that and really to try to get the woman back into work probably before she really wants to but suddenly there's all this pressure and I think many men would be really much worse at looking after children very small babies and infants particularly because of the breastfeeding thing and also because of the way um, our brains are hardwired to be able to do all the sort of juggling that goes into looking after mm. a baby and all the not just looking after the baby but taking them to the toddler groups and the antenatal you know all the antenatal stuff beforehand and the they women tend to be much better at having the networks of friends and support um, background Emiliana hi um, I think that's <laughs> extremely sexist I think that my partner's gonna do a fantastic job and I think you're what, seven months pregnant I'm seven months yeah. pregnant we've decided before I knew anything about this law to share parenting we're doing everything 50 50 we're both gonna work part-time and we're both gonna raise our baby together um, if anything I think he might do a better job I mean he's he works with children so he <laughs> knows what he's doing but um, him and a lot of his male friends they want to be more involved in their child's life and I appreciate what you're saying about breastfeeding being you know fundamentally important to a baby and I've got every intention of doing that but I think equally as important as breastfeeding is a father being you know frequent in a baby's life and being there a lot and that bonding process being you know extremely frequent it, 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 you know and I think that that's very very important in a baby's life to have the father there so but it I does seem measly doesn't it that the father only gets two weeks off but I mean people are not working 24 hours a day I mean very often it's I found when my kids were small that it was lovely at the end of the day when I'd been running around after them that my husband would come home and actually take over I would have a couple of hours to myself rather than this endless both people being absolutely under the cosh trying to trying to work trying to sort of juggle it all and most of the men I know I'm sure that there are absolute saints I'm sure your husband is or partner is an absolute paragon but most of the guys I know would far rather be doing the job of work during the day and then actually coming back and being there I mean taking plenty of role with the child but there are plenty of things in that first year where really the mother is paramount and I can't see how a husband could really quite make up for that I think that it's brilliant I think we should have a choice I think a, a, a pet, you know two people who are raising a child should have a choice